Oh, okay. All right, welcome to Fun with Elephants. We are going to be assembling some wonderful leather elephants that we have today. Uh, first thing you're going to do, find yourself a workspace where you can get messy and you don't have to worry about it. You know, covering on a table is working great. First thing you'll need is your needle and some thread. You'll need a length that is comfortable for you to work with. Remember, the longer the, the piece of uh, thread that you have to work with, the less you have to reload it. Um, then you'll need your elephants. You'll need some sort of pair of pliers, preferably one without teeth. That's smooth, more like you use on a jewelry. Uh, so that way you can pull the knots. Uh, you'll need your awl for making the holes bigger. Some sort of wire that you can use to pull uh, a strap through. I'll show you that in a minute. Some sort of rag. You'll need your bucket of dye. Make sure it's mixed really well before you get started. Just shake it up and it'll be fine. Clear coat. Something to cut with. Cha -cha -cha -cha. And you need your strap. And your key ring. And your elephant brace. There's two braces. One for the large elephants and one for the small elephants. Actually, I'm going to... Sorry about that. I had to replace it and get a different one. Anyway. So, the first thing you do, have your elephants, head, body. This is the smooth side, which is the outside of the cow. What you're going to do is turn it over and start on the back. Uh, your first step is to grab your needle, and you're going to go diagonal on this one, on the first one. Uh, you dye it first. Oh, yeah, you do dye it first. <laughs> See what happens? Okay, dye it first. Stick it in here. Get it nice and colorful. Stick your body in. Oh yeah, make sure you have gloves. You'll need them. Unless you don't mind having colored hands. Which, whatever color you have. Which, you know, could be good. Alright. First thing you'll do. I'll just leave that there for a moment. And let that drip for a second. Wipe off your elephant. You're not trying to like make it dry, you're just trying to make it so that way it's not sloppy for you to work with. See, something like that, simple. And then do your body next. It's going to look a lot darker when you start, uh, but after it dries the colors become more vibrant and it'll be better. Uh, Alright, there you go. So just dry it off a little bit. Head on top of the body, smooth side, rotate it so that way you get the fuzzy side. Needle, start diagonal. You're going to go, this is the, the big round hole in the back. You're going to start here. And then from here, you're going to cross over to there's two, two holes in the back of the head. Go to the opposite one. So you're going to go diagonal on that one. Pull it through. La, 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 la. Okay. Now, then you're going to go through the big hole in the body. Da, da, da. Now you're looking at the back side again, right? Now you're going to go diagonal again. Big hole. Go here. Whoops. Go here. And thread pulled through. Make sure that thread stays there. Leave yourself an ample amount of thread so you don't do this. Okay, big hole. Go through here. Go diagonally to the opposite side in the head. And there you go. And that is the hardest stitch. Oh, thread came out. But I could put that in real quickly. Um, okay, there we go. Okay, you've gone through. Now go back through the big hole. So now you've gone through the big hole twice. Okay, very simple. Do a square knot. Pick one side, whichever side is your whatever, whichever side you want to start with. Start with the shorter one. Left over right. Go around. And then go now it's in your right hand. Go right over left. Don't use the pliers. Don't use the pliers? You said? 
Okay, don't use the pliers. So, I was told not to use the pliers. So, there we go. Da -da -da -da. Just said, pull. Don't you use the pliers? To oh, them don't you use the pliers? Yes. Don't I use the pliers? I was told. I thought it, you said. Never mind. Yes. So, to pull the knot tight, you give it a good blink, jerk. And that'll make your t knot nice and tight and draw everything in. Take your scissors and just cut it. Don't cut it flush to the bottom. You have to give it like a half inch, three quarters of an inch, maybe even an inch of string. So that way, if this thing loosens up, it won't come untied. See? Now your head is even. Da -da -da. Just square it off. There you go. All right. Now, back to the back of the body. Start on here. Go on this inside hole. See? From here. You started here, then you went here, now you're going to go here. Start there, go through, ta -ta -ta -ta, ta -ta 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 -ta. okay, now you're going to go through this one. It's the one that's right behind the, the tusk. Go through there, come around, you're going to go in between them and go through here. Mm -hmm. See, so now it wraps around the tusk. Take this. And this is where your pliers come in handy. That's a lot to pull in, but you got to get it nice and tight. So grab it with your pliers and give it a good jerk. Ta da! And tie it in a knot. You may have to pull it tight again. It happens. Okay, after it's tight, scissors, cut it. Shloop. There you go. Throw away the excess. Now, now move over to this side again. Big hole. You've already put it in through there. Go through here. And through here. Leave yourself some excess back here. This will be the first one. You're going to go through the outer one. Again, in line with where the tusk would be. Push it through. Come around. Go in between the two. Now you're going to go through the outer hole. Make sure. Make sure the string goes around the tusk. Sometimes it likes to snake back here. Or even up in here. Just make sure it goes here where the ear is. That dent in the ear. <laughs> okay. Pliers. There you go. Pull nice and tight. Finish off your knot. Again, you may have to pull it tight. There you go. Nice and tight. Scissors. There you go. Just cut it off. Now you're done with the needle and thread. There you go. These are my little scraps. Okay. Now what you do is take your nice trusty awl for poking holes through the bottom. Not the smooth side, but the bottom of the elephant. Go through the big hole. You're not going to go through the head, you're going to come up behind the head. All you're doing is widening up this hole. All you're going to do is try to make it bigger. You don't have to stuff this all the way through down to the, to the end. You just want to make the hole bigger. So make the hole bigger. Set it down for a moment. Take that bent wire that's used for threading. Take your loop. Set it on the wire like that. Very simple. Put two ends together so it hangs. Da -da -da. Take this, pull it out. See, hole is now bigger. Stick this in there. Comes out there. Pull. Now you take the wire off. That's all the wire is used for. T 
hog on it a little. Make sure you get it, get that knot nice and snug up in there. Open this up. Stick it on the key ring. Ta -da -da. Now, this is where your clear coat comes in. Get this junk out of the way. Okay. Don't sink your ring into the clear coat. It, uh, this is just some sort of crappy steel and it starts to rust. It will rust over time if you do that. So stick your elephant in there. Submerse the little guy. And that's it. All you're trying to do is thoroughly cover it. You're not trying to drown it. All you want to do is cover it. So just the whole thing is covered. Then kind of shake it off a little. If you want, you can, oh, don't, don't dab it with that. Just Part What I do is, oh yeah, what I do is I just, well, my floor I can get it all crappy. I just want to just get off all that excess so it's not dripping. But it's still going to be wet. Now what you do, over here on these two threads, press, fold the head in half. That's what you're doing. You're folding the head in half. Which, of course, will fold the body. Make sure your legs are even. Make sure your little feet are even. Take the tusks. Fold them out. It's important. Roll the nose up. It doesn't have to be like tight, like if it had been wrapped around the toothpick. It just needs to be curled up. It'll unfold a little, but that's okay. Okay, so now your tusk, tusk is rolled up. Pinch it right here on these two little holes, right? Pinch it with one hand. With your other hand, take the ears and fold those out. Make sure you keep this pinched tight because that'll help the head maintain its shape. All you want to do is fold the ears out. Okay. Make sure these tusks are nice. Make sure this is curled up. It's important to keep the nose curled. That way it's nice and good luck. And just fold the tail down. That's fine. Get it out of your way. Now, you see how the acrylic is already drying off? That's great. Now just stick it in your brace. Stick it in the brace, force it all the way down. The brace is made so that way it's the right height for these elephants. You're not going to put this like underneath the head. You're going to get the body into it. Now, that knot may get in the way, and that's fine. The most important thing is make sure your feet are even. Like these, like these two here are even with this, and here they're even or else when you pull it out later your elephant will sit like this look at me I'm the elephant man no you don't want that you want a nice pretty elephant so stick it in there straighten the head out that's what it looks like from behind this can just you know that just stays there that's what it looked like from behind side view front view and strike a pose, catch the other side. Yeah, just make sure those ears are nice and cute. The head is bent in. Tusks are sticking out. Trunk is rolled up. And there you go. Elephant. Now, leave, uh, leave the elephant in here for like 20 minutes, 40 minutes. Look, it even comes with its own little mosquito. What is that? Oh, it's a mosquito. Ew. I don't know where it went. Anyway, keep the elephant in the brace for like 40, like 20 minutes. Then it's pretty much gotten like 20 minutes, half an hour, depending on how humid your house is. If you're doing it in the house, you probably got the air conditioning going. So like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And then just after that, you can pull it out, set it on something. The dye won't come off. Just set it on something, pop up and let it dry. The brace is so that way as this thing starts drying, it holds the elephant in place. There you go. Make sure those legs are even and down. And there you go. After like 20, 25 minutes, pull it out, set it someplace, and you're done. Thanks for watching.